Today I'm in Faywood, New Mexico at City of Rock State Park, and I'm really excited for this adventure for a few reasons. Reason number one, this park looks absolutely amazing. On the way out here, you drive through nothing but desert for a few hours, and then I approach this literal city of rocks out in the middle of this vast desert, and it was just really cool to look at and really got me excited for today's adventure. Reason number two is that the campsite that I'm at is really great. I'm kind of nestled among these giant boulders and I've got a really good view of the rest of the park. And because I reserved this site on a Monday night when it's really cold, it kind of provided me the opportunity to have this place all to myself. So I really don't have any neighbors. And reason number three is that I'm using this opportunity to test out some new cold weather gear and kind of get my winter camping system dialed in. In the past, I've been really apprehensive about camping in cold weather, and I really let it limit the adventures that I've been able to go on. So for this year, I decided to make a change and really get my winter camping setup dialed in. And tonight it's supposed to get down to about 27 degrees. So thank you guys for joining me. Let's do it. All right, so I got a nice level spot. I'm gonna go ahead and start setting up camp. So usually I set up my tent on the ground first next to my truck. Then I put it in the truck bed and then I kind of secure it down. But last time the winds got really gusty and my tent basically just turned into a giant kite and almost flew away. But I'm going to go ahead and try something a little bit different this time. I'm going to set the tent in the bed, secure it down, and then construct it from there. And we'll see how that goes. So let's give it a shot. So that actually wasn't too bad. I think I prefer setting up the tent this way because it makes things a little bit easier whenever the tent's already anchored down. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and finish setting up camp and then I'll give you guys a tour of the campsite and then we'll get some dinner going. All right, so camp is all set up. Once again, I've got my 20 degree sleeping bag. I've got a blow up mattress. And as always, I've got a nice thick quilt underneath for some added insulation. And of course, I've got my little buddy propane heater. And then I went in and put a little bit more thought into my base layer. Um, I got some cold gear from Under Armour to help keep me warm. Of course, some thick wool socks and a fleece outer layer. So um, I also added a cocoon liner for my sleeping bag. Then I went ahead and picked up a carbon monoxide detector. I do keep it pretty well ventilated in here, but I thought that was a good idea to pick up just to be on the safe side. So that is a campsite. As you can see, I'm surrounded by these awesome boulders. So it does look like there is some really cool trails out here and just some places to explore and maybe do some rock hopping and some hiking, but it is getting kind of late in the day and I am getting pretty hungry, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and start dinner. For right now, the only thing that's on my mind is some delicious chili dogs, so let's go cook. So dinner was amazing, but the temperature is dropping really quick, which means I got to get everything put away and get ready for bed and uh, start warming up this tent. So I'm going to go ahead and hop in there. All right, guys, so I'm getting ready to go ahead and call it a night. I've got my little buddy heater going. I've got my carbon monoxide detector over here. You guys probably can't tell because of the netted pocket, but it's reading zero. 
I've already tested it to make sure that everything's functioning properly. Um, so a little bit of peace of mind there. I did stay out a little bit later than I thought I was going to. I was trying to film the night sky and get a good shot of the stars. Um, I really do wish I was better at astrophotography because the stars look amazing out here tonight. It should reach about 25 degrees or so um, early morning, I think around 3 or 4 a.m. I'll catch up with you guys in the morning and let you know how it goes. Last night actually wasn't too bad. It did have a few rough patches, I should say. Did have to get up to use the restroom a couple of times, which was interesting. I uh, did have to replace the propane bottles twice. I can see my breath. I uh, did go ahead and wake up and put on my top layer. I also put on my down jacket. And then in the middle of the night, I realized that I had forgotten my beanie and I was losing a lot of heat from my head. So I just kind of wrapped my head with this old shirt um, and I survived and it wasn't, wasn't too bad. I did get, get some sleep. I, I woke up a few times cause I was cold. I had to readjust, um, you know, swap out propane bottles, that sort of thing. Um, but for the most part, I did get some pretty good sleep. Right now it's uh, 7 a.m. and it's, uh, it's still 28 degrees right now, but have a look at this view. So I decided to do some exploring this morning and fortunately for me, I'm one of the only campers here in this area. So I kind of have access to all these little uh, side trails and there are designated hiking trails nearby. I definitely recommend checking those out, especially if there's campers in the nearby sites. But like I said, luckily for me, I'm probably the only one out here, mostly because today is Monday and it was also very cold last night. So I'm gonna continue doing some exploring and then uh, I think we'll go ahead and take down camp and Go ahead and wrap it up. One of the great things about having this place all to myself is I can wake up and hike in my pajamas. All right, guys, well, that should do it for this one. I'd like to thank you guys for joining me for today's adventure. And I'd also like to invite you guys to stick around so you don't miss out on the next adventure. As always, thanks for watching. Stay stoked, and I'll see you in the next one.